Hello and welcome back to George's Gaming Guys. Today I'm going to be doing the review of the Hogwarts Room of Requirements at number 76413 and this is made out of 587 pieces. Now there are five minifigures included in the set, all of whom are unique. They are Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, Blaze Zabini, I think is how you say it, The Grey Lady and Draco Malfoy. This set also includes a Fiendfjör, I think is how you say it, The Fire Serpent and a Cornish Pixie. And this image is over 15 inches or 39 centimetres high, 6.5 inches or 17 centimetres wide, and 2.5 inches or 7 centimetres deep. So it is a reasonably large model. So if we have a look at the back, it shows that we can actually have the front uh, two different ways. You can have it with the door, with a, like, a bit blocking it. it. Shows us a bit at the top. It shows us that we can split up the fire serpent to have it like go, make it look like it's going through the walls which it shows in the main picture down here as well. And I think that this is actually probably one of the coolest looking Harry Potter sets. And I think that Lego has just done a very nice job on it. And yeah, so with that further ado, let's have a look at the minifigures. So before we go over the main model, let's have a look at the minifigures. So first, as you can see, we've got Harry Potter. So he's got his rounded glasses with his classic black hair and the scar on his face, then he's got the brown wand, uh, light blue trousers, a beige jacket with a light blue top uh, on the very bottom, and then a like dark blue zip top jacket. Then he has basically just some stitching on the back of his jacket and that is all the details on Harry Potter. Next we have Hermione Granger, so she has the brown hair with um, like the light blue jacket and then a pink um, jacket underneath and then like a white shirt on and then she's got like a beige coloured wand with the like grey trousers and then she also just has like some stitching and some creases on the back of her jacket. Now we have Blaze Zabini I think is how you say it. So he's got um, quite a short, quite a round cut really with his like dark like it's almost a mix of the beige and the brown ones which is quite interesting so he's got uh, black trousers, a grey uh, jumper a white top underneath with like a uh, green tie um, on the back there is just as well some stitches and some creasing next we have the grey lady so she has like a white face and white hands, but then she's got grey hair with a grey dress, a little bit of dark grey in the middle. And then at the, on her waist, she's got some stitching which is in dark grey, and then some other details that are in dark grey, and a little bit of black as well. And then on the back there is no printing, just her hair. And then for the actual minifigures that are included in this set, lastly we have Draco Malfoy. So he has his blonde hair with his like black suit with the grey tie and green uh, shirt and then he's got his dark brown wand and then on the back he has got some like grey creasing and stitching so now if we go on to the other characters that are in this set so we have, I, I think it's pronounced Find Fire which is the fire serpent which I do think looks really cool so the mouth does open, only opens into one position but then obviously it does close with quite a snap. And you can take this model apart as well so that you can have it like going through the different sections of the building uh, to make it look like it's a very large serpent when it's actually, when it's all put together, it's only this size. But I do think that this does look very nice and that LEGO has done a very very good job on it. And then last we have the Cornish Pixie, which is like all like see-through blue with some minor black and white details. And yeah, so overall I think that all of the minifigures and characters in this set are very nice and I would really recommend it. And yeah, so without further ado, let's have a look at the main model. So this is the main model and I do think that it looks very, very nice. It is a, a cool, cool model from the front. Um, I think that the rock work works quite well at the bottom. And then the details is quite nice uh, throughout the face of it. 
But uh, that's obviously just the, f the starting details. Obviously, you've got Hogwarts banners, then some fire, and then obviously like the classic green roof. And then that's about it, other than it does show that this set is modular on both sides, which is quite nice. But if we now have a look at the inside, this is where it becomes quite interesting. So at the top, there's a scroll. Now, from what we've been able to find out, it's just a scroll that's up there. But the uh, the sink is a little bit more important because um, it, it was referenced, we believe, when Dumbledore told Harry about it when he stumbled, when apparently Dumbledore stumbled across the room of requirement when needing the loo. So uh, I think that, that is quite a uh, quite a funny little detail that Lego's added. I think Lego's quite good at adding <laughs> little details like that, and I think that it has worked very, very well, to be honest with you. So there are a few different things. There's a couple of goblets, and obviously the lights, and then on the inside it is like... I'm just going to move this a bit further towards the camera. It's jam-packed. It's on the side that you can see. It looks like it's a record player, a chair that, that's uh, on one leg, uh, and then it looks like lots of boxes and books and whatnot, and then obviously one of the one of the doors, and then it's got on this side it's got like the sticker of a Cornish pixie, and then on this side it's got like a, a phoenix logo. Now, if we have a look at this side, we have got like a the hel a helmet with a candle, and then at the back it looks like we've just got some boxes, uh, and then there's some flames above the doors, and then obviously the other door. And overall, this is a very nice model, and I think the LEGO has done quite well with it. Um, I like how it's modular. That's nice, um, so it can go with the other sets, obviously, to make the, the big castle, if you have all of the uh, Harry Potter sets that are modular. And I just think that this set works really well, and I think that the minifigures that are included in the set really work with it. And I just think that this is a very nice set overall, and I would uh, really recommend it. And yeah, so, thanks again. and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and if you've got any thoughts about it, and also make sure you watch out for this Sunday's video, which is going to be my build and review of the Mandalorian Fang Fighter vs. the Interceptor.